Hello friends, my name is Shayla and today I am here to film another manga tag for you. As I said in my previous tag, I got tagged in two at the same time. I was technically tagged in this one first, but it made sense to do the other one before this one because that one's an introduction and then this one is recommendations based. So I was tagged by the lovely Manga Z Chan. They will be linked down below as well as in the card, so definitely go and give them some love. The original video will also be tagged down below. So basically this is a bingo game in which you give recommendations based on this bingo card. So I've got the bingo card, I've got all my prompts ready to go here in my jar. So let's go ahead and start. So the first one's historical. I would say woo, a bride story. A Bride Story is a story about a woman who is 20 who is married off to a young man who is 12 at the time. Now, I'm 11 volumes into this series and nothing sexual has happened so far. They kiss a little bit and they sleep in the same bed, but they are legally married and yes. So this is an age gap, but it is based in history. I believe it's the early... 1800s in the Middle East. So it's really interesting and really intriguing. And I absolutely love this. There is some LGBT rep within the series as well. So I highly recommend checking out the series. Oh, I forgot to mention. So a couple of these I know I won't have any recommendations for, and that's war, psychological, and horror. So those three, I know I don't have recommendations for. So I'm going to go ahead and put them marked off already on the bingo card because I just don't have anything for you. And then obviously the free space. So yeah, we're nowhere near a bingo right now. So let's keep going. <laughs> eh. Eh. Slice of life. Perfect. Where'd it go? There it is. So for this one, I'm choosing BL Metamorphosis. BL Metamorphosis is a slice of life about an elderly woman who ends up picking up a BL manga and falling in love with it and her friendship with the late teens young woman who works at the bookstore. It is absolutely sweet. They end up going to like a BL con together. Like it is so adorable. I love this series so very much. If you are not reading BL Metamorphosis, I don't know what's wrong with you, but man, you definitely need to. It is so cute. And that did nothing for my bingo. <laughs> but it let me give you guys a great rec. Let's see, this one is Dark Fantasy. I know exactly where I want to go with that one. That's definitely going to be Requiem of the Rose King. This is historical as well. And in this, we're following the War of the Roses, which is actually a piece of history, following Richard III and Henry VI and the political ramifications of everything going on in that period of time. This is gruesome. This is lethal. People die often in this series and it's fantastic. The art is amazing and it's one of my all-time favorites, so I highly recommend checking this one out. What has that done for my bingo? Again, absolutely nothing. <laughs> the randomness of it all. All right, next up is steampunk. For that, I'm choosing an older Jose series that it's currently still printing but it like stopped printing for a number of years and now it's printing again. And that's Carnival. Carnival by Toyu Mikanagi. This is about a young man with special powers and the need to protect him, I guess is all I'm gonna say, but it's definitely paranormal. It centers around a group called the Circus and they all kind of have really unique and special gifts and powers and it's amazing. It's really hard to describe this series for me, but no, that it is amazing and I love the characters. I've read the first two omnibuses of this and I definitely need to collect more so I can keep going. Let's see, again, it's gonna take us a while to get there, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. The next one is Adventure. Know exactly where I wanna go with that. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Ah, there it is. 
And that's gonna be Witch Hat Atelier. This sounds all sweet, but this is actually an adventure as Coco is learning how to maneuver the magic system within her world. It does have some dark fantasy and political elements to it as well, but I would definitely call this an adventure story because this is the adventure of Coco protecting herself from the powers that be and from the evil powers that are trying to have Coco do their bidding. And it's fantastic. Love this series so very much. Definitely recommend. A lot of these can be cross-recommended for other prompts, obviously, but I just love talking about my faves. Adventure, steampunk, and historical. If I got sci-fi and action, I would be done right there. So we're doing better than I thought. Okay. The next prompt is Yaoi. For that, I'm going to be recommending Don't Call Me Dirty. Um, this is by Goroko Kanbe. And in this one, we're following a young man who is in a relationship with someone who doesn't really think they're gay. And obviously things are starting to fall apart at the seams, but this homeless man starts to come in to a nearby store where he helps the elderly gentleman who runs it. And they end up forming a beautiful friendship that later develops into a relationship. And so this is all about the judgment of people and what people deem as dirty, like being gay is dirty or, you know, being homeless makes you automatically dirty. And so it challenges a lot of those misconceptions and it's beautifully done. I highly recommend this one. It's just the single volume, though there is kind of like a spin-off sequel featuring two other characters that you meet in here that I plan on reading soon. So I'll give you my thoughts on that, obviously, when I read it, but I loved this one and my buddy Dylan over at Dynamic Dylan sent this to me and I love him forever for it. So Dylan will be linked down below, by the way. I'm officially tagging Dylan in this because why not? And then if I also got comedy or mystery, I would be done. So. Do -do -do. Martial arts. The only one I can really recommend for this one is Naruto. That's the only one I've really dealt with with martial arts. I have not technically read Naruto, but I've watched all of it. And I really enjoyed the series. I think the characters are really nice. And the whole arc of Naruto is really interesting to me. So that's a fun one. That would be my martial arts recommendation. And obviously that did nothing for me. Oh, except if I got romance, I'd be done. Let's see. The next one's suspense. What would I call suspense on my show? You know what? I would honestly call Girl from the Other Side a suspense. There's a definitely a whole mystery as to our main human character named Shiva. This world is infected with a disease that turns people into these outsiders, these black creatures, but Shiva seems to be immune to it. So there's definitely that mystery element to that, as well as the suspense factor, because Shiva is constantly being attacked from either the humans or the outsiders. And so it is a little bit on the suspenseful side. I don't do a lot of suspense, guys, but this would be the closest, I think. And that didn't do much for me either. All right, mystery. So mystery. Do I even have one that's really mystery? I don't think I have one that's mystery other than girl from the other side. I wouldn't call any of my others technically mystery. So I guess that's a double wreck on that one. <laughs> and if we get comedy, we've got our bingo. Let's see what happens. And it's comedy, perfect. For that, we are gonna do Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. This is a four coma style comedy in which we're following Nozaki-kun and his adventures with a girl in class named Chio. Chio has the biggest crutch on Nozaki-kun. He writes shoujo manga. He's oblivious to her feelings and he bases his characters in his manga on other friends. It's fantastically done. I love this series a whole lot. I don't talk about it a lot on my channel, but I really love this series and I want to collect more physical volumes so I can read through more of it. 
So friends, that is the manga bingo tag. Thank you again to Manga Z Chan for tagging me. As well as Dylan, I would love to tag Asia from over at Mama Loves Manga and Natalie over at Pages and Panels to do this one. So three of my friends, all of my Thirsty Thursday friends, because they are my co-hosts for that. If you are not familiar with Thirsty Thursday, it is a book club in which we talk about adult slash smutty, sexy manga, and we read together every month, and it's great. So I am really excited to tag them in this. I hope they do it. And again, everybody's linked down below. Go send them some love. And thank you for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.